Thank you, everyone, for being here. I've enjoyed my time so far. I don't want to bog you down with too many details. Uh, what I want to actually uh, give you is the philosophy of this work. Uh, you can, of course, read the paper for more details. But I'm Bharat. I'm from the International Center for Neuromorphic Systems at Western Sydney University. Don't ask me what neuromorphic is. Today is not the topic. But I broadly work in the AI of, I mean, the area of Industry 4.0. I'm an, a researcher in the AI space. I have a PhD in this domain. But I've worked with neuromorphic. I've worked with IoT, robotics, and distributed systems. So this work is about the intersection of AI and blockchains. And perhaps I should have renamed this talk as AI in 2034, just like how uh, Daniel had done for his talk, uh, DeFi in 2034. But anyway, moving on to the actual presentation. So there are some technical terms here, uh, but really, this is a slide I want you to actually focus on. This is the journey of AI in the last 50 to 60 years. In the very beginning, nobody really thought about connecting their AI systems together. Right, that's in your 50s and 60s. And slowly, when we had the power to store lots of data in cloud servers, people have now started to build AI models that are in the cloud. The data and the model is in the cloud. So you train everything in the cloud, right? But in 2016, Google came up with a phenomenal way to learn across devices that actually don't share data. Right? That phenomena is called federated learning. How many of you have heard about that before? Just a couple of people. Very good. I'm talking to a good audience here. So federated learning allows IoT nodes, sensors, and AI systems to learn from each other without sharing their data. Right? But there's a problem, like what Sinclair mentioned in his presentation, single point of failure. Whenever you have a single server that is orchestrating this federated learning process, you can potentially you know, get trapped by the single point of failure. And also, there's a, a trust here. right? You're trusting the server to orchestrate federated learning. right? So imagine this server is now being replaced by a blockchain. Smart contracts now orchestrate the federated learning process. So this is very cutting edge. right? So that's where my presentation is going. But what is the good application? And I say the trend is a friend. So we're going to focus on chatbots. And the idea is, can we have private chatbots on your devices, mobile devices, on your PCs, wherever you want? But can it learn once it is deployed? That's where federated learning really shines. If you want privacy-centric machine learning, that's federated learning for you. All right. So there are lots of nodes, like chatbots. And they do their learning locally. Right? And the model itself you know, goes to a central server. That's federated learning. Right? But we want to replace that central server using a blockchain. So there are several issues here. Uh, all of you would have used ChatGPT by now. You know that it's very powerful. But imagine. Uh, ChatGPT-like chatbot that is running on your device, it won't be that powerful. It has to be small, right? So this pre-trained transformer needs to be fine-tuned for your mobile device or for your privacy-centric application. And that's computationally inexpensive. So you take a pre-trained model, and then you do a fine-tuning. And there are standard procedures to do quantization, for example, to reduce the memory and your resource footprint of your LLM, large language model. And there are, again, standard techniques called knowledge distillation, where you take a very big model and a small student model, and you allow that student model to learn from this big model. So you can reduce the size of the model itself. So these are standard techniques in AI. But when all of this comes together, that's where it really shines. So imagine you, know, you have a sm small language model using quantization, using knowledge distillation. Now, what is the idea? You want users to make use of this global model 
in this federated learning process and to enable security. Right, but, but first let's look at what federated learning actually does, right? When these models get trained, the global model gets shared across to something called the IPFS, the Interplanetary File System, which is basically a hypermedia protocol that is based on uh, blockchains for storing stuff, all right? But you want other people to evaluate how good your model is, right? That's where another technique called differential privacy comes into effect, and we make use of that. So that when you share your model to others for evaluation, your model is not exposed. Only your differential privacy-enabled model is exposed. So that's a key idea of our paper. And another idea is called SMPC, Secure Multi-Party Computation. When you want this aggregation to happen, this federated learning process to happen, how do you enable the aggregation without exposing the model of each nodes? Right? This is another contribution of our paper. And I won't go into much details here. You can read the paper, or you can even come and talk to me during the lunch break. But basically, you know, it's a fun problem to have, right? You have a big model. You want to break it down into chunks, which is meaningless. And you want to distribute those meaningless chunks to other nodes. But there's a catch here. When I say meaningless, all of these models put together will give you the original model. But the individual parts don't make sense. Right? That's where you know, it really shines. Because you're giving meaningless parts to others, so they recombine, and you get this model. And you get the federated learning happening using SMPC. Well, you know, I have a demo for you. Uh, and that demo is running on a single machine to simulate that whole process. I'm sorry, that was completed yesterday night by my student at National University of Singapore. So I would have liked it to be even more friendly, but uh, that's what, uh, what we have now. Thanks. <laughs>